The Criminal Justice and Forensic Science Department opened a new lab for students on Wednesday. It is a hands-on crime scene experience. It is located on the first floor at Cushwell Hall. Before, students were using anything they could find. We had been using hallways. We had been using the Cushwa, um, you know, lobby area. We had gone outside when the weather was good, and we were throwing our mannequins down and our crime scene tape. And YSU, although they never actively said anything to us, they were obviously very uncomfortable with the idea of us being outside where other people could see us and not maybe understand that we were in a, in a classroom setting. Inside the crime scene are five rooms, a living room, kitchen, bathroom, master bedroom, and a girl's room. Students broke into five separate groups but may work as a whole or individually throughout every room as the year progresses. I think it's very beneficial because um, a lot of people can't work together, they're shy, they don't want to work together, and this is how it is in real life. Probably with this amount of people overall and not just like four or three, so I think it's a good learning experience. The department used donations and some of Clutter's money to help gain the furniture, mannequins, and items necessary. Some people were actually a little on the offended side. Um, when you go to somebody and you tell them that their piece of furniture would be perfect for the crime scene house, they get a little uh, maybe flustered. Um, and so some people were not quite as kind, I think, as others. But I think most people thought the project was worthy. Um, and so I did get a lot of good luck, you know, good luck to you. Um, and uh, I think that having a dedicated space is, with real furnishings is so important. Sophomore Cody Sankowski worked in the living room and said the hardest part was tagging items. The pressure of finding everything because you don't want to miss anything because if you do then your whole, your whole like theory of what happened is completely off and you just want to make sure that you get every little detail because it's, it's just detrimental to your case, pretty much. Students overall were enthused learning hands-on instead of sitting in a classroom. Uh, you never really know what you can expect until you get hands-on, like with the cameras, mid-range and close-up seem almost the same, but they're different, so actually photographing them, you see the difference between each. So just hands-on helps you understand it better. I mean, lectures are only so much, you know, you can only learn so much where doing actually helps, helps you learn a little bit better than just listening.